What's going on, everyone? Happy Monday. Benny No back at it again with some Benny No's Road to the Show. That's right. Spring training has started. Games are being played. And guess what? Today's a sad day. February 24th. Today is the day that the public is going to be able to say goodbye to Kobe and Gianna Bryant and the other nine victims of the horrible helicopter crash a month ago. That being said, let's get it on. At any point in this video, if you like what you see, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment. I love answering comments, and we might even answer yours. And don't forget to binge watch these videos. That's right, a card's gonna pop up right up here. Let's keep the Benny No train going all day, every day. That's right, baby. So, yeah, like I said, spring training games have started this weekend. Every single MLB team played, my Dodgers played. We got to see our first home runs from the, actually won the first two games. And uh, I'll be honest, like spring training games to me, I don't really care who wins or loses. It's really not about that. Um, but they did win the first two games. But more importantly, I got to see Max Muncy and uh, Kike Hernandez hit a home run in their first game, which was nice to see. I think they won 10 to four, if I'm not mistaken. They play the Cubs the next day and they ended up winning four to two. Mookie Betts had his first appearance as a Dodger, as did David Price, and I'm going to talk about that right now because Bumgarner right now has a boss challenge for me, and let's see how it's going to go. I just woke up, so I really don't know what's going to happen. You know, obviously, I swung at a bad pitch on the first at bat, and uh, <laughs> nothing happened. Okay, so, ooh, hit for a single or better, a double, let's go for the home run, baby. 250 bonus points if I can hit a home run off of Madison Bumgarner. How amazing would that be? Here we go, first pitch, bottom of the fifth. Of course I swing at the first pitch, man, geez. This is what happens when I wake up and start playing. I get very impatient, okay. That's out of the way, I lost that. Um, wow, zero, zero score, very tight game. Okay, we'll talk about, we'll, we'll get back to the, uh, the Dodgers spring chain in a minute. Bumgarner, bottom of the seventh, I'm 0 for two. We need to make something happen. Boom, that's a rip. That's gonna get through for a base hit, okay. We got a hit. It wasn't a home run. Let's see if Benino can do something amazing on the bases. We're going to find out as we move to the next step. And here we go, striding to the plate again. And it's still tied. No score, man. Here we go, Benino with a chance to walk this puppy off. What a great start to the video if we could do that. Here we go, run around first. Oh, man, I knew it was going to be a low pitch, or at least I thought it was. My controller is shaking, too. So here we go. We got to be patient, man. I got to wait for a good pitch to come. And then here we go. One for three on the day, Benny. No, here we go. Boom, that ball's lifted into left. That's going to fall down and get to the wall. I'm not sure who the lead runner is, but he's on his horse. And he's not going to be sent home. No. Darn it, Benny. No had a chance to be clutch. I don't know why they didn't send him. Unbelievable. Man, if that would have went to right field, maybe they send him. Man, or, uh, I don't know. Who was running there? That guy had to have... No speed. Oh, Turner, man. Darn it. Anyone but Turner and we've scored, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're the slowest runner on the team. Bottom of the 11th, man. <laughs> Extra innings. Here we go. Okay, I guess we're just going to have to hit a walk-off home run, huh? That ball's launched into left, baby. Does it have a chance? Is it playable? It's playable. Darn it, man. Oh, two legit chances and a third. Wow, we're going to have six at-bats in this game, and we're still scoreless. Bottom of the 14th. Wow. Benny, no, you got to be the hero. Third time's a charm. Finally takes a pitch. Did not swing at it. Wow. Okay, here we go, man. Bottom 14. Here we go. Walk-off dance-off time for Benny, no. This could be amazing right here. Give me a good pitch, man. 1-0 count. Can we put one in the left-field pavilion? Ooh, that ball hung, man. That was a ball, though. 2-0. and Here we go, man. 2-0 counts. A lot of home runs come on these on this count right here. Here we go. I'm swinging for the fence if it's anywhere close. Here we go. 2-0. Mm, man, I should have waited for the 3-1 pitch. Darn it. All right. Obviously not a great start, man. I don't even know if we deserve to win at this point. I've had four chances to win, and it's going to be a fifth chance. Unbelievable. Is it Okay, they're winning by one in the bottom of the 16th. I still have a chance to walk this off, though, because there's a runner on second. Here we go. Controller shaking. Benino is ready. 
Can we come through in the clutch? Woo! Barely held back that check swing. Nice curveball, man. Wow. Yeah, spring training, man. I, I'm so excited. Mookie Betts' is first at bat. I think he popped up to left. Did get a sacrifice in. Here we go. Oh, that was the high fastball. I wasn't ready. Ah. I haven't played all weekend, obviously, guys. I did. Mookie's not here. I was just talking about how Mookie had his first at bat. Lumpy's here. We can walk this off right now, Benny, with a home run. Bottom 16. Oh, man. That, ooh, the slider. Oh, it was a curveball. It was a curveball. We're still around. One and two. Come on, Benny. We got to at least tie this up. Here we go. Come on. Two outs. One, two, count. Oh, that's going to fall down, baby, for a base hit. One run is going to score to tie it. Benny No is going to be safe at first. We tied it, Papa. High five. Yes. One to one. One to one. Watch out for my, my drink there. Oh, I didn't. We tied it. Hopefully, we get the win. And we got the win. Yes. Finally, after 16 innings. The Dodgers pulled through. Benny No comes in with the tying run. Had numerous opportunities to come up clutch. It just wasn't mm. meant to be. Let's play one mm. more. Game two in this video, baby. And, uh, yeah, today is uh, it's a sad day, but we're not going to be sad today. It's 224. Um, today is the day in Los Angeles that there is going to be a big public funeral. Oh, wait, that ball's launched in the right. Does it have a chance? Way back. Off the wall, that should be at least a double. Okay, yeah. Kobe Bryant and his daughter are being, uh, they've already been laid to rest in a private funeral for the family. But today's the day in L.A. at Staples where everyone's going to, who got, who was lucky enough to afford and get, lucky enough to get picked for the tickets, get to go and, uh, you know, share the experience of Kobe and Gianna's uh, funeral. Um, that's going to be televised, so I'm sure it's going to be on TV. I'm sure you guys are going to watch it by the time this video comes out. Um... I'm not trying to be sad about it. I don't want to talk about the sad part about Kobe Bryant. What I want to talk about is my favorite memory of Kobe Bryant. Now, this goes back to 2000 when the Lakers were playing Portland in the Western Conference Finals. They were they, The Lakers went up 3-1, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, Portland came back and forced a, a Game 7. Now, you got to remember, Phil Jackson, the head coach, had just joined the team. Kobe and Shaq had been together for a couple years and couldn't quite figure it out. And this was uh, this was the time where, like, if they didn't make it to the finals at least this time, who knows if they would have kept the team together. We might not have seen Kobe and Shaq win three titles if they don't win that Game 7. And here's the amazing thing about that Game 7. The Lakers, at the beginning of the fourth quarter, were down 15 points. 15 points. And then all I could say is, I don't know what happened. Shaq... I remember dove into the crowd. That ball's launched. Is it going to be caught? Looks like it's going to be playable. Shaq dove into the crowd to go after a ball. And after that, the team just got ignited. I remember Shaw, Brian Shaw, hitting the tying score at 15. But what I remember most was the plays that happened when the Lakers took the lead. I don't know what happened to Portland. They went cold. They just stopped making shots. It was crazy. Kobe Bryant brings the ball up. They're up by two. Drains a, a 20 footer. Bam, they're up by four. Uh, Portland gets the ball back. And this is what I remember the most. Uh, Pippen took a three, missed it. We got the rebound. Kobe Bryant brings up the ball. And this is the play by play. I, I believe it was Bob Costas. It could also have been um, Marv Albert, but I can't remember what or not. Pretty sure it was Bob Costas. Kobe's got the ball at the top of the key. He's up against Pippen. Crossover. This is how the play-by-play -play went. The Lakers have three timeouts and Portland has two. And then the infamous words that came from the broadcaster's mouth. Bryant to Shaq. And look at a basketball. And lumpy has got a basketball. You from Bryant, yesterday. Bryant crosses over. Uh... Scotty Pippen draws two players to come in. That frees up Shaq right by the hoop. Little feather pass to Shaq and booga, man. He slammed that ball. Portland calls timeout. The crowd goes crazy. I remember I was working at a market. Um, I was working at a supermarket and in the meat market, there was a TV there. And we were watching the game on the TV when we weren't even working. Half of us were watching the game. When Kobe threw up that pass to Shaq and slammed it, we went crazy. I'll never forget that moment. 
a bunch of people I know who work there are no longer with us. It's kind of crazy. But we were all... That was when I really became... Uh, I'd been a Laker fan as a kid. I remember them winning in 87 and 88. My dad took me to the parades. But it was that one that really, really pulled me in to be a Laker fan. Kobe, I just want to say in closing, man, to Kobe and uh, to, his, to his family and to his daughter and to the other nine victims that lost their lives... Um, I love you. I love you, Kobe. I love your family. I feel so horrible for what has happened. Um, my son now knows who you are, and it's sad that it takes an event like that to happen, but my son loves you very much. We love you very much. You're forever in our hearts, and God bless everyone, man. Peace.